This is a quick demo for Fixel Contrastica 2 for After Effects. This is version 2 of Fixel's popular contrast plugin. And what makes this contrast plugin unique is that it applies contrast correction on both a global and local basis. Meaning global is that it applies an overall contrast that is adjusted for the entire image, but it also does local contrast enhancements for different parts of the image because like in the case of this pool shot here, you have lots of um, sort of lighting areas. You have this dark area here when the shadows and then you have the very bright areas over here. So when you apply, say, the curves filter, which is what most of us uh, reach for when we want to do a, a contrast. So the most common way of applying a, a contrast uh, is just to do like an S curve here. So you lower you lower the shadows and then you brighten up the, um, the highlights. And even here with this very subtle S curve, you see that the the contrast is definitely enhanced, but what's happening is you're getting really dark here in the shadows. You're also getting very saturated and uh, you're starting to blow out the bright areas here like in the, in the balcony and stuff. So uh, let's put another fresh copy on top and then instead we're gonna go ahead and use Fixel Contrastica 2 and right away we can see here that the image contrast was uh, sorry the contrast was enhanced I'm just going to turn it on and off so you can see here you're starting to get a lot of detail in the pool in the ripples and stuff but we're not getting crushed as you can see here we're not lose, we're not getting super saturated we, uh, we're still maintaining a very realistic look but bringing out all this detail let's uh, take a look at this as a more detailed comparison so i just have a i have a mask here i'm just going to turn this on just do a little before and after by the way you can now do this right on the site so you can actually look at before and after uh, side by side like this so here um, on the right here is the correction i did with the curves filter and here on the left is what Contrastica is doing just at its default value. I haven't adjusted any of the settings, as you can tell. So you can see here how, you know, in the, in the especially here in the ripples and stuff, but you can really tell, uh, you know, it's in the shadows here, how we can still see the detail in the trees. But when we come and look at it over here with the, with the curves, you can see everything's kind of lost and crushed over there. Uh, so... And that, again, is just the default settings. It also maintains a nice saturation level, so you're not getting uh, that oversaturated look. And so, um, you know, you can basically, what really makes these Fixel plugins great is that they're not very complicated. They're not very hard to learn and to use. They have a limited number of uh, controls because what the real magic is in the algorithm that they've devised that does a lot of sort of decision-making for you. So... You can, of course, now come in here and adjust the uh, local contrast level, which is basically going to go in and make sure that things are not getting too crushed in the dark areas, for example. And then, of course, you can also then just globally adjust the contrast, which is similar to what we did with the Curves plugin. And then, of course, you can just balance it out, meaning, um, you know, how much of the local uh, contrast takes priority over the global um, and then you can finally just increase the, lumin the luminosity, which is kind of like just boost the levels on the image. So, but I find uh, that the just having the standard, you know, default settings works really, really well. So this is a quick overview of Fixel Contrastica 2. I encourage you guys to download the free trial as well as just try the new image comparisons that we have on the site. So you can literally just slide it back and forth and see the before and after to see what it can do on various different images.